Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday, Ray Prilici Friday, the last Friday in March. March is almost done. Spring hopefully will be coming very soon. It's so like dreary outside here in Michigan. It's been like just the ugliest week ever and I am so ready to get out of town. Uh, we are heading to Cancun actually on Sunday for a little spring break trip for Lily's senior year and I am so ready <laughs> for some sun and warmth and relaxation. I've got my books already packed. I just like super excited. Yeah, yeah, so hello Philomena, welcome. Thanks for joining us. So yeah, just very, very excited about um, about the trip. Thank you for the share too, Philomena. Um, Lisa, hello, welcome. Thank you for joining us. So yeah, hopefully everybody's had a good week despite the like, I don't know, I think it's just, we had um, that really good weather like a week or so ago. And so, you know, everyone's like ready for spring and then of course it's not really happening yet. So anyway, it's all right because again, we have lots of cute stuff that I want to share with you guys today. We're gonna play with an awesome, bundle that is actually retiring. I picked it earlier this week, got everything ready, and then the retiring list came out. And I was like, oh, but it's okay because it should be available. Um, so if you fall in love with it today, make sure you get it ordered ASAP. Um, <clears throat> because I would love to make sure that you have this stamp set and bundle too, and I'll show you in just a moment. This is the um, snowing. Oh no, that's even worse. Hi Sharon, hello. I feel like it could snow around here too. So ugly, oh my gosh. Spring, please come soon, right? So yes, this is super cute. Susan, hello, down in Florida. It's not, it's not snowing where you are. I'm absolutely positive of that, right? So it's the What's Cooking stamp set. Such a cute, yes, from Sunny okay, don't rub it in. Please don't rub it in. Sunny Florida. I love it, Susan. Um, yeah, so and thank you for this share, Miss Susan, as well. Okay, so the What's Cooking stamp set. So, so many cute, fun, like cookery images, right, in this stamp set. And then some cute sentiments, like sending you a dash of kindness and a spoonful of love. And then this one's cute, the What's Cooking. And then we've got a For You and Happiness is Homemade. And obviously that applies to cooking and anything else that is homemade as well, right? So then we have the dies that coordinate with the What's Cooking stamp set. So you can see all of the cute imagery in the stamp set. You can basically cut everything out with the dies as well. So that's what we're gonna play with today. I can't wait to share those cards with you guys. They're super duper cute. So, and like I said, the um, last chance, I always call it the retiring list, but the last chance lists have been um, released if you haven't had a chance. What I did find, first of all, if you're able to print, print it, landscape instead of portrait, and then it's not quite as tiny. I mean, it's still pretty tiny. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, it's pretty tiny, but it's even tinier when it's like going this way on the page too, because I printed it both ways. Um, but anyway, I have um, gone through, so if you're local, well, we haven't quite done it yet. Lily's gonna be working on it today. I've gone through and highlighted one of my annual catalogs, and then I'm gonna have Lily do a couple more of them and we'll put them out on the porch. So I would say, um, by tomorrow morning, those will be out there. So if you're local and you wanna swing by and grab one of my annual catalogs that I've gone through and highlighted, I think that's the easiest way to just like flip through the catalog with the highlights and see if there's anything that you can't live without, make sure you let me know or get your order in online. If you're long distance, obviously I have emailed about the last chance list. It is, um, I have posted to our Facebook group, so there are links in both of those, email and on the Facebook group, or just go directly to stampinup.com and literally it just says last chance products and there's a whole slew with pictures of everything that is um, going to be retiring out of our current. So this is the, I don't even have it right here, do I? I think I gave it away. I was running low on annual, I know, hold on, I have one right over here though. <clears throat> Yeah, so the annual catalog, this baby right here, this is the one we have gotten the retiring list. So um, there's a bunch, of course, there's always a bunch of stuff retiring, including, you guys know this, right? The in colors, um, the 2020, 2022 in colors. So the Misty Moonlight, Cinnamon Cider, Just Jade, Magenta Manis, and 
um, Bumblebee. Those five in colors are retiring. Make sure you get everything that you want. I know I've said it for a number of weeks, but um, ink refills, that's a big one if you have an ink pad and you haven't gotten the ink refills. If you love any of those colors and you want more cardstock, get that ordered ASAP. Um, embellishments as well, the blends. So all of that stuff is retiring. Um, so get it while you still can. They actually gave us a little sneak peek, and I don't even know, I haven't been able to research yet, um, but we know what the new, well, I guess they, as demonstrators on the Stampin' Up! website, we actually have the link to the new catalog too. So don't wanna talk too much about that yet because you can't order from that until like May 3rd, 3rd I think it is. Um, but the new in colors are awesome. You guys are gonna love those. They're like super fun and bright and cheerful. Like those are my colors, that that's my like style. So very, very excited about that. But in the meantime, focus on the things that are retiring because once they're gone, they're gone. And everything, including stamp sets are all only available while supplies last. So for example, that what, What's Cooking stamp set and the dies, if those sell out, they're gone. So, and I'm gonna show you some super cute projects. So if you don't have those yet, I think you're really gonna want those, uh, the stamp set and dies. And they come in a bundle, plus I believe, let me check that. Um, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure they're part of the savings are in bloom. Yeah, they are part of the savings are in bloom 20% discount on the bundle also. So another quick thing to remember, this ends at the end of March, which is next Thursday. The savings are in bloom promotion. We have the little mini cut and emboss machine that is 20% off. And then I think we figured out there were 13 different bundles that are 20% off right now. And some of these are retiring. Um, like I said, including that what's cooking bundle that we're going to play with in just a little bit. So keep that in mind. Um, I'm trying to think. Oh, the other thing to know too is that, um, oh, that's the wrong way. <laughs> I just realized I have something screwed up here, so I'm going to have to fix that before I flip the camera down. Um, some items are like deeply discounted, up to 50% off on the last chance products list. So make sure you check that out because obviously, you know, a deal is always a great deal, right? Yeah, I see a bunch of like 20%, 40%, up to 50% off. Um, so awesome things to be had from here. Again, all only available while supplies last, okay? So keep that in mind. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, um, another quick reminder, the one-day retreat. Um, RSVPs aren't technically due until Monday, April 25th. Actually, let me back up. One day retreat on, I gotta have my little flyer right in front of me, Saturday, May 7th from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. right here in Alma. So if you're local or kind of in the area and wanna um, drive on over and hang out with us for the day, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. here at the Peace Lutheran Church, which is where I hold all my classes now. It's a beautiful facility with lots of room. Everyone will have a six foot table um, to work at all day long. I'm gonna feed you. We're gonna make cute treats for you. There are gonna be making takes. I give you a goodie bag filled with lots of fun products. The make and takes will actually feature some of the products in your goodie bag so you can see how can you use those and play with those. And this is what I was starting to say. I jumped way ahead. If you sign up and prepay by next Friday, which is April 1st, you get an extra free gift in your goodie bag. So I'm trying to encourage everybody to get signed up ASAP because I wanna um, get everything ordered and made and ready to go. And I'm just super excited about this because we haven't done it for a while. Um, I was a little bit worn out, I have to admit, like back when I was doing these much more regularly and I think kind of taking that break with COVID has completely rejuvenated me. I'm super excited about doing this one day retreat and I would love to have you come basically hang out with us, make whatever you want um, for the day and just play and have a great time and we'll take care of everything else for you that day. So plus lots of great ladies will be there too. So great like friend camaraderie um, amongst the group as well too. So keep that in mind, okay? Um, but actually I think if I didn't say so, to get your extra free gift in the goodie bag, like I said, RSVP and prepayment are due by next Friday, April 1st, and then the final drop dead, gotta have your RSVP, is on Monday, April 25th, okay? Um, <laughs> oh, that's funny. I'll have to watch the replay for the info. I muted you. Yeah, I know. Sometimes you have to take care of work when you're at work, right, Susan? <laughs> it happens like that. I know, I know. Um, Okay, let's do our first drawing for, these are the classic matte dots. Where is my, oh, I think I left it 
in the other. So normally I do like a quick review to make sure I have everything. And I totally thought I had everything last night when I set up. So I didn't do my little review. And now I'm like, okay. Um, so one sec, I have to go get my little basket um, with everybody's names in it so we can actually do that drawing. I'll be right back. Hold on. <clears throat> Okay, here I come. <laughs> All right, so names are in the drawing right here for the classic matte dots. If you uh, signed up for my email list, if you haven't done that already, or if you shared the Facebook Live video, the one we did last Friday, your name is in here, right? And like I always say, um, the link to sign up for my email list is in the details above this Facebook Live video after I get everything uploaded this afternoon. That link will be there. There's always a link on my blog too at gatheringinspiration.com. So hello, Miss Deb, how are you? Thanks for joining us. Okay, so here we go. One name, one lucky winner of the classic matte dots and they go to Miss Vina Gomez. All right, congratulations, Vina. I will get those classic matte dots sent out to you. So thank you very much for sharing the video. Okay. Next, I want to show you guys so what we're going to give away. Thank you for sharing to them. On our next Facebook Live video, which we're going to be on spring break in Mexico next Friday. So it'll be the Friday after. So I guess what would that be? The 8th. Okay, so next Facebook Live video is going to be on Friday, April 8th. So spring. Spring will have sprung by then, I'm just sure, right? Um, we will give away the iridescent rhinestone jewels, some of my most favorite um, in terms of embellishments from our um, current mini catalog. Hi, Diana. Thank you for joining us. So we will give these away. Make sure you share the Facebook Live video and sign up for my email list if you haven't done that yet. And your name will be in the drawing on our next Facebook Live on April 8th for those gems, okay? Um, I'm just like cruising right along. What I wanna show you guys now. Oh, I made these cute treats. Why don't I show you that right now too? Good morning, Diana. Um, <clears throat> these are some fun treats that I made for all of my club members this month. I'm trying to remember what anything is called and totally drawing blank some things. So we're just gonna, here I'm like trying to reach around at the table here. I'm gonna just grab my catalog and I'm gonna find the name of that paper because I am drawing a blank on the name of it right now. Where is the paper in the catalog? <laughs> um, the Artfully Composed, so on page 33. Yeah, this was my class to go that I used all these products. Okay, so the Artfully Composed Designer Series paper is what I used, you can see. And then also the Artfully Layered Bundle too, the stamp set and dies. And then there's the designer series paper or what I used to make that cute little treat. So what it, it's one of those like um, you pull up kind of thing and it's got like a yummy treat inside. It's so funny. I didn't even think about this last night. Lily and I were like having like sugar panic attacks like where we don't have any candy. We don't have any sugar in the house. If I would have remembered, <laughs> well, I, we would have probably broken into these and I would have just bought more and refilled them. But thank goodness I didn't remember that last night. So I'm gonna try to forget that I know that now too, <laughs> in case we have another one of those sugar panic attacks of like, oh, we need some sugar. I know where I'm going. <laughs> no, no, forget, forget. Anyway, so yeah, so super cute little just like pull the tree out kind of thing. Thank you so much, Philomena. And I did the little thank you on there with this tag is from the Ornate Layers dies, which is um, a set of dies that were in um, a holiday catalog maybe a couple years ago, part of a Halloween suite. And I love those dies. So that's another label one. And I don't think that those are retiring. I feel like I need to do a double check to be sure, but I think the Ornate Labels dies are still around. So, And I'm gonna do a blog post about this too because this tree is super simple, um, like the actual treat holder is to make. So I'll do that. I made these a number of different times and ways over the years. That's kind of my thing is like, oh, go to my stash of like cute treats and just update it with like new product. So that's what we did on this one right here. So hopefully all of my club members are enjoying those cute little treats too. So. Thank you, I appreciate you um, being a part of a club, which I guess I should mention too. So <clears throat> I have 
three different clubs that you can be a part of. There, if you're a local and come to classes, I have the Simple Beautiful card class that is also a club and the scrapbook class that is also a club. Basically, it just means that you wanna to come to class every month for the next 12 months and um, uh, basically make the cute um, cards or scrapbook pages that I design each month and then you put an order in each month we put all the orders together one month you're the host of the card club or scrapbook club and you get at least $30 in free product as, as far as being the host for the club same thing hi Vina basically is the case with the class to go club um, if you're interested in doing that basically it just means you want to get one of those class to go kits shipped to you every single month for 12 months again we put all those orders together one month a year the host and you get the host benefits at least thirty dollars in free product for being the hostess of that club too hi debbie welcome plus i always love to make cute little treats for everybody and say thank you thank you for coming to club for being a part of club i appreciate that so much so if you have any questions on that let me know there's info on my blog too at gatheringinspiration.com about that also okay um all right, I think we are about ready to do our next drawing. I'm just trying to make sure. Yep. Um, so we have <laughs> the super cute. This is the good to see you too, Vina. Happy birthday. Also, I know you had a birthday recently, so I hope you had a great birthday. Um, the back on your feet stamp set. This is what um, your name went in the drawing if you put an online order in of at least $30. Um, using the host code, your name is in this um, little basket to get to this back on your feet stamp set. And they've got just such cute imagery here. This is another one that is retiring though, kind of unfortunately. So we've got sentiments like, uh, sometimes that's all, oh, well, I, it's funny because that one has to go with something else. Maybe you would say sigh or ouch, and then you'd say, sometimes that's all there is to say, and then I'm here for you. Um, we've got this is not good, which is cute, right? And then they've got like the snake wrapped around um, the giraffe's neck. Hope you're back on your feet soon with that little guy right there. And, and then, or maybe the turtle too, the upside down turtle, right? And then hope things get better soon. So lots of cute sentiments in there and the imagery is kind of fun too. So your name is in the drawing. You also automatically get both of these cards that I demonstrated on our last Facebook Live. Nancy, hi, welcome. So this is my thank you as always. You get these two cards as a thank you for putting the online order in. You also got to pick from either the free embellishment, <clears throat> excuse me, or the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial if you bumped your order up to $50. So <clears throat> the free embellishment for this month is the awesome, these are the Rhinestone Waves Basic Jewels. You can kind of see all beautiful shades of blues and greens, just beautiful. Or you can pick from the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial. And I'll show you, this is a cute little project that I made, like a little, um, kiddo birthday card right the focus was baby and kids this month um, so that was my project that is included in here step by step exactly how to make that card and all the products that i used to make it um let's see if i can kind of flip you guys know right but we get you get um basically you can see all the pictures and step by step exactly how to make all the projects 16 projects in here okay so you get to pick from either one of those the demo design dream team pdf tutorial or the rhinestone bas basic jewels rhinestone waves the blue ones um <clears throat> excuse me if you order at least 50 dollars plus you got a free celebration choice too i still have i probably have like eight or ten um choices left so if you order through me, I will still be able to um, honor a celebration choice too. So very, very cool. So in the meantime, let's do our drawing for the back on your feet stamp set. Okay. So, and I have to tell you guys, your odds are really good of winning. I haven't had too many online orders lately. So if you, all you have to do is order at least $30 to get your name in the drawing typically for um, the Facebook Live giveaway. Okay, so let's see. One lucky winner of the Back on Your Feet stamp set is Miss Kathy Hilliard. All right, congratulations, Kathy. You are the winner of the Back on Your Feet stamp set. I will get that sent out to you, okay? 
All right, so I am doing something a little bit different. Because we're gonna be gone on spring break, I'm doing what I'm calling a spring break special. So same idea where you use the host code, I will give you that. It's also always on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. It'll be in the details above this Facebook Live video after I get everything uploaded this afternoon. But this is how the spring break special is gonna work. It's even better than ever, okay? So this is the idea. Let me scoot this out of the way. I have a bunch, and I just brought this over, but six by six designer series paper. I've got a bunch in the Brights, Regals, Settles, Neutrals, and then I have a bunch of just designer series paper. So I'm gonna like cut it up and give you a sampler of designer series paper, six by six paper. You're gonna get an, a pack of designer series paper as a thank you for me, an assorted pack, I guess I should say. You are automatically also going to get the embellishment, the free embellishment, the rhinestone wave basic jewels. You are not even gonna to get to choose, you get both. You get the PDF tutorial also, along with those rhinestones, along with the designer series paper sampler, and you get to pick a free celebration choice. So all of those things, oh, plus the projects that I'm gonna demonstrate in just a little bit. So that's five different things that you're gonna get for free during my spring break special when you order at least $50 online through me and use the host code. So that'll go for the next two weeks, that'll be available to you. So you get so much good stuff with an online order. So keep that in mind, um, I'd love, I do truly appreciate your orders, your online orders, that's what helps me be able to continue to do the Facebook Lives, to be honest. That's basically how I get paid to do it, if that makes sense. So do, like I said, I do truly appreciate every single order that comes in. So I wanna say thank you during my spring break special for that. So lots and lots of goodies, okay? I'll go over that again a little bit later too, um, just to make sure everybody knows what's going on. So, okay, I think I gotta tidy up here. Just, and I guess I should check my notes. Hold on one sec, let me just make sure. But I think we talked about, yeah, I think I feel pretty good there. Okay, so let's see, I have to do one more thing because I, I messed this up. Okay, I'm gonna get something resituated here and then we can flip the camera down. Okay, I think we're good, right? Sorry. <laughs> Just a little housekeeping here while we get ready to go. Okay, so turn your heads away. We are flying through the air. Gonna get situated here. Okay. Is that good? Let's see, flip it down. Okay, all right. Hi guys, I think we're good. Okay, um, what did I wanna show you? Let's get the host code out so we have that. Okay, there's our host code for the month. And, oh, I know, I just wanted to do a quick reminder, first of all, I moved my notes and I'm like, I'm struggling. What are we talking about now, guys? <laughs> okay, quick reminder about the super cute, the Cactus Cuties class to go. Today is the last day to RSVP. If you think you want these cards, Order now, order today. I would love to get one of these super duper cute kits sent out to you. Look at the fun, bright colors on these cards in that Cactus Cuties class to go. So they feature the Cactus Cuties stamp set and the punch. We also are including the um, Evening Evergreen window pane check ribbon, the 2020, um, 20, 2022 in color designer series paper, and then and the polished dots also. Okay, so yeah, these are all the designer series paper, a full pack, polished dots, a full pack, and the ribbon. Option number one, you get the bundle also, okay? Just a quick reminder, we have option number one, which includes all of those. So the bundle, the ribbon, the dots, the designer series paper, the ribbon is actually free in option number one, plus the PDF tutorial that tells you step-by-step -step how to put the cards together. Option number one is $70. Option number two is if you already have the bundle, you're going to get the ribbon, the dots, and the DSP. In option number two, it is $42. RSVPs are due today. Payment is due today. Kits will ship out no later than, where are my notes? Um, April 6th they'll ship out, okay? Option number three is just the PDF tutorial that tells you step-by-step -step how to put the cards together. Always free to my downline. And then also option number four is for my downline. Anyone in my Inkspired Stampers team can get the make and takes for these cards, two of each of them, for just $12. I'll show you a quick 
preview, right, of each of the cards. They're so cute. I love these cards here. I'm like flipping them, right? But I love, like, look at the colors, even just super fun, bright colors on the back there, too. So if you're interested, let me know. I would love to get one of those kits sent out to you. Okay, now let's see. Let me grab my grid paper. We are going to get stamping, ladies. Okay, there's like a a little bit of adhesive on there, so it's like sticking, I'm trying to get that off, but trying to be careful not to like wiggle the table too much either. Okay, so we are in view, I think. Okay, there we go. Okay, sip of water. And we have, which one do I wanna show you? We'll do this one first. So cute, the little what's cooking there, right? And then this almost looks like tile that you might have like, you know, along your backsplash. Um, in your kitchen or something, and then little cute little salt and pepper shakers on the inside there. So, okay, let me show you how we are making this card here. Let's see. Whoa, excuse me. I'm like throwing stuff here. Get all my stuff out. We need our ink and our stamps. Right, oh, I see, yep, okay. I made these a little bit ago, and I'm trying to let's see, what did I use on here? All right, I think I've got everything. Okay, so I'm going to give you dimensions. Thank you. I'm glad you guys like this card. I think it's super cute, too. It's all about, it's all Stampin' Up, right? The beauty of Stampin' Up and the cute ideas that they come up with. Okay, so we have Knight of Navy card base. We are gonna cut it along the eight and a half inch side at four and a quarter inches. And then along the 11 inch side, we're gonna score it at five and a half inches, okay? So there is our nice crisp fold on our card. Next, we have a piece of Coastal Cabana cardstock that measures three and three quarters by five. And that is that piece right there. And then our In Good Taste Designer Series paper. This is that awesome paper that I think, it, to me, it looks like they went to like Home Depot or Menards and took pictures of like wood plank flooring and maybe tiles, maybe even flooring, right? Beautiful. Hi, Abby, how are you? Um, and then basically made it into Designer Series paper. And I just think it's about the coolest paper, but it's going away soon. So three and a half by four and three quarter inches is that piece right there, okay? Then on the inside, we have another piece of, this is basic white cardstock that measures four inches by five and a quarter inches. While I'm thinking about it, I always like to mention all of the colors, dimensions, products that we use, item codes, everything that you need to order what you don't have, right? To make this project will be on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com this afternoon. Okay, I'll get that all uploaded. Then I basically just have um, this piece right here is another piece of Coastal Cabana that we're gonna do our die cutting and then a couple more pieces Crumb Cake, Knight of Navy, Coastal Cabana, and Basic White that we're going to do our stamping and die cutting there, okay? So let's see, we're going to scoot these. Maybe I'll put that right up there so I can keep an eye on what I'm doing, right? Okay. Our Knight of Navy ink, we're going to stamp our What's Cooking. We're going to do that. You guys saw me. Nice, easy tap, tap, tap. Press straight down, lift straight up, okay? Don't push too hard. You don't need ink all over your clear block. There's really no reason for that, right? Doesn't do any good. Tap, tap, tap. We are gonna press straight down, lift straight up. There we go. Cute little wooden spoon. Isn't that so sweet? Okay. All right, now I think we basically need to do our die cutting. So we've got a number of things. We might have to do a couple runs here through our cut and emboss machine. Ooh, that is quite warped at this point. I probably need a new plate there. And running this will probably make it even worse, but that's all right. Okay, so the rectangle stitched dies, this is the one, two, three, fourth largest die in there. That's what we're gonna use, first of all, on that piece of Coastal Cabana cardstock. Um, let's see, what else can we do? Maybe we'll do this one. And where are my other die? Oh, my dies, where did they go? I brought them out to show you guys already. Okay, so look at all these, so cute. This little cutting board is one of my favorites. Actually, they're all so cute, I think, right? Okay, so let's try to do that. We're gonna do our cutting board right now too. Put that one on there. Also, we'll get a couple of them done and then we'll come back and do the others in a sec. Okay, sorry, we're gonna wiggle. Ooh, 
<laughs> I had that stuck on top of one of the ink pads. That's not going to work very well, is it? Okay. And these are always something about these rectangle dies because they're so, um, I don't know, wide or something. They always tend to have a lot of give <laughs> when you cut them. There. Okay. Can you see the little stitching? I love those. I do not think are retired. I'm trying to remember for sure, but I don't think they are. Okay, and then look at how cute this is. It's like a little, the little cutting board and it even has the grooves embossed into it. So cute. Okay, so now let's see what I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut. Cause sometimes, you know when you're trying to line things up and they start moving around, it's almost easiest um, if you have separate pieces. So then if you need to move them, you can, okay. So we need, let's see, from our dies, we have a, a Knight of Navy spatula. So we're gonna put that on there. Then um, a little whisk we have in Coastal Cabana. And then our wooden spoon. Oops, we'll line those up in a sec. Then from the tasteful label dies that are retiring, I'm so sad because I use these all the time and I'm so bummed that we're not gonna be able to use them. I'm sure there are cute new things, but that's the one we're gonna use right there. All the stitching, all the cool shapes. Oh, I'm so sad that those are going away. Okay, it's all right. There'll be something cute and new in there, I'm sure. Okay, so that one's gonna go on there. These don't have to line up. They just have to actually stay on the paper. And that's about it. But we gotta get this one lined up here too. I feel like I need my glasses. Hold on a moment here, ladies. Okay. So we're gonna line this little baby up. That looks good there. Okay. I'm being too futzy about things. Okay, good enough. Okay, but look at, they're all so cute. These little, this little um, spatula and the whisk and the spoon. Like, oh my gosh. They make me all, almost, they almost make me wanna cook. <laughs> Actually, I'd rather just probably make these cute little things than, than cook. It's not, it's not my forte. I guess. I don't mind it, but I'm probably not the best at it either. Okay, what's cooking? You can say, what's cooking hot stuff? <laughs> Love that. Okay, and then the little wooden spoon. So cute, right? And where am I throwing stuff? Look at the little, <laughs> come on, you guys, look how cute this is. The little whisk, so cute. We're just gonna like stir up something, right, with our little whisk. And then our little spatula to get that and i love because i just pop right out there too hey lisa how are you there we go we got the little spatula there too okay all right scooting all this stuff out of the way just so cute oops i forgot i didn't have that other one there okay let's scoot that guy out of the way. okay so now we can kind of put things together right okay i think i think we have everything Let's see, oh, we didn't do our stamping. Let's do our stamping on the inside. I showed you guys, we've got the little salt and pepper shaker. I just had to have another little something on the inside, right? But I think if I had a, if I had a hot stuff, right, I would, I would do that. What's cooking and then hot stuff on the inside. I don't think I, we have a stamp set that says that. You could probably make it with one of our alphabet stamps. That could be kind of fun, right? Okay, uh, adhesive, that's what I'm looking for. Okay, so let's just go ahead and put this on the inside. So run it, tip it back, run it, tip it back, run it and tip it back, okay? We're gonna grab this piece. I'm gonna scoot that over because I know I'm gonna get ink on something that I don't want it on. And you guys know if you kind of put that down and don't press too firmly, if you don't like where it is, you can lift it up and move it, but I'm happy with that. Okay, next we're gonna add our designer series paper to our Coastal Cabana cardstock. Okay, and then we can put both of these on our card base. Need to get a little bit more right there, okay? All right, so we're gonna add this piece on here. Oh, I love these colors too. These shades of blues are, this is my thing, ladies. Sorry, I got some more adhesive. I gotta get rid of that. Okay, next we are going to put some dimensionals behind this rectangle stitched piece that we just die cut, okay? Do one more, that one move, there, put that there. Okay, just peel the backings off of these guys and pop that. I gotta have my little example. Pop that right there, okay. Next we are, where's my little, my little silicone mat is always handy for these little baby pieces. Um, this one I actually think I did, now I gotta look. 
Yep, I did. I'm going to put this one on dimensionals and then everything else we're going to adhere to this guy. Okay, so we're going to peel these things off. And put that, oh gosh, just look at how cute that is though. Can you see <laughs> all the little details on that cutting board? Okay, next, we're gonna just take all three of these little babies and we're gonna just add adhesive. I kind of liked how they were popping up. Like you see how they're kind of, I didn't put adhesive um, on the top part. I just did it on the bottom. Okay, so we're gonna add our little spatula and then our whisk and our wooden spoon, maybe right there, right? Then we've got our what's cooking, and I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna put a dimensional behind this side, but not the other side, because you guys know me, I think, by now. I don't like things to be off kilter, so there's already a dimensional behind there, so I'm just putting adhesive on that side, and then this dimensional will kind of pop it up on that side, right? Yeah, I feel like that needs to come down a little bit lower. Put that right there, right? There we go, there we go. There's our what's cooking. Thanks, Susan. I think it's so super cute too. Okay, then gotta add a little bit of uh, texture, dimension, ribbon, bow, twine, whatever you need or have, right? If I can just, okay, let's try this. <laughs> oh my gosh, there we go. So this is called the Fan Baker's Twine. And you get a bolt of Night of Navy, I think that's Poppy Parade in white, and then Evening Evergreen. So just a great little assortment pack of Baker's Twine. I wanted to do a double bow, so the easiest way I think is to just loop that as if you're working now, you've got two pieces there, but as if you're working with one piece of twine, and then we're just gonna tie a bow. Okay, loop that through there. Make sure those are good, right? Okay, then grab my scissors and scoot that out of the way. Now we need a mini glue dot. These are the easiest thing to use. Just put that right to the glue dot and then we're gonna put that right on our card, right? I think those are a little bit long. We're gonna trim those down just a titch. There we go, okay. And then of course, one last detail. We can't be without, I am loving using these, again, the Rhinestone Basic Waves Jewels. These are an item that are not in the catalog. It's part of um, kind of a collection that is only available right now while supplies last, these beautiful gems. There's the Wave Designer Series paper and then some blue foil sheets that actually would be beautiful with this now that I'm thinking about it. I probably should have done like one of those whisks in like a metallic one of those. Oh. I wish I would have thought of that, and I didn't. But anyway, so get those things while you can because the these jewels, the designer series paper, and the blue foil sheets are only available while supplies last. The stamp set and the dies that are part of the Waves um, collection are going to be in the next annual catalog, but not these. I can't. I'm just so bummed because I love these jewels, and I just it's like breaking my heart that they um, are not gonna be in the next catalog. So I'm using them as much as I can because I want you guys to see how beautiful they are. So we're gonna add one right there. We're gonna add one right there. And then one more right there, okay? So there we go. Thank you, Susan. I agree, I love this color combo, that deep night of navy, and then this is coastal cabana again. Oh, two packs, yes, you gotta have at least two packs of the jewels for sure, because they're all like, can you guys, I don't know if you can see how beautiful they are. We've got almost a night of navy, and then there are a couple of lighter shades, and then they kind of go to greens and turquoises, and they, oh, you can't even tell how beautiful they are in this light. The lighting's so bad because it's so dreary here. <laughs> oh, well, it's all right. We're having fun playing with our cute products, right? Okay, so that is one of our cards. So don't forget, too, spring break special. Everyone is going to get one of these cards, and the other one I'm going to demonstrate in just a sec as a thank you along with all the other goodies for ordering through me on um, the spring break special. Okay, so let's see. Let's clean. This is probably not very wet. Ha! Huh. <laughs> That's so cute. Yes, the Pampered Chef people. Robin, I'm just seeing you pop on. They would have all of this. Of course they would. <laughs> yes, they would. Oh my gosh. That's awesome. Okay. So there we go. We're kind of cleaning with our little chamois there. Okay. 
You like, what colors am I gonna need? I think I'm gonna, am I gonna need navy? I think I'm gonna need navy on the next one too. Okay, so similarly, I don't think we did any of this though, right? Okay, here's our next card. I wanna show you guys this one too. So I couldn't stop with the colors. So this one, kind of fun though, this is Bermuda Bay. So you can see it's a little bit deeper, brighter. So Coastal Cabana on this card, Bermuda Bay on this card, right? So the same, I loved the blues, the navy with the kind of, with the greeny blue color, just beautiful. And then more of that um, In Good Taste designer series paper. Again, they went to Home Depot and like, took a picture of a wall or something. <laughs> okay, so let's see, what do we need? Let's get our, get our stuff out here for this one. Get my stamps, more cute little things. Okay, all right, I think I've got everything. So uh, did we do, yeah, we did a tall card on the other one too. All right, so here we go. We have here, Thank you, Philomena. Okay, so Bermuda Bay cardstock, again, along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter inches, and the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches. Okay, so there's our card all folded up. Then we have, let's see, we have a piece of bake, basic gray cardstock. This one measures four inches by five and a quarter inches. And then our In Good Taste Designer Series paper. That just looks like some cement almost, doesn't it? Right? Um, this one measures three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. That one's gonna go right on there. And then I bet we have a piece on the inside. Yep, another basic white piece like we did last time that measures the four inches by five and a quarter inches. And then we just have other pieces of basic white cardstock to do our stamping and die cutting. Also Knight of Navy. And this one is um, gray granite, I believe. I'm gonna have to make sure on that when I put the details together for you guys. Okay, so let's do our stamping and die cutting. Okay, so those are just die cutting. So we need to do, mm, 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 let's see, we're gonna use this one right here to do these little pieces. Okay, so we have, let's do our bowl first, our mixing bowl in Knight of Navy ink. Okay, so we're gonna just do that. So there's our bowl. Isn't that cute? So cute. All right, then we have, did I do anything on the inside? Okay, we did the pots and pans again on that one too, okay? Then we are gonna do our pots and pans. I used Bermuda Bay ink. Well, actually it's not pots and pans. I think I said that on another, this, I think they're measuring cups actually, okay? So we'll do the measuring cups there. And then we're also gonna grab our white piece that goes on the inside and we're gonna stamp that, the little measuring cups on that one there too, okay? And then, Mm, let's see, I'm gonna use this. Yeah, let's see, okay. Mm -mm -mm. Our sentiment, we're gonna do the circle on that one. I was trying to make sure I had enough room for everything, but I think I, I'm all right still. So. Okay, so make sure that's lined up properly. We've got this, sending you a dash of kindness and a spoonful of love. Look at how cute that is, right? I love the mixed fonts too, right? The cursive with the block writing there. Okay, and then lastly, with our Coastal Cabana ink, we're gonna do our little rolling pin. So nice, easy tap, 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 right? And we'll put him right there, and that should give us room to do everything. Okay. Um, yep, I think we're good. Okay, okay, okay. Scoot these things down here. So again, we're probably gonna have to do a couple runs through our die cutting machine because we have a number of, oops, things that we are die cutting. Okay, so we've got this. Layering circles dies are not retiring, thank goodness. Okay, so we still can use these. So I've got a couple of the circles, let's see. Um, one that's the second largest scallop circle and the second largest um, straight edge circle also on those okay so let's see we're going to do this one with our scallop edge let's do this one with the straight and then i think we can probably do our little whisk that i got it through in this tub <laughs> there we go get our little whisk 
right there. Okay, so let's do those three first and then we'll do the other stamped. Oops, and it moved. Let's see if I roll that back out. Can I scoot it? There we go, that should do it now. Okay, here we go, sorry. It's super wiggly today, ooh, <laughs> oh my gosh. That was a weird noise, wasn't it, huh, ladies? Okay, so there's our one extra circle. We need that circle again. There's our scallop-edged navy piece, and then our little whisk again, okay. We're good, let's get that little bit out, but look at how cute he is, right? <laughs> Love him. Okay, now we are going to do the rest of our die cutting. Okay, so we've got the circle. I'm gonna put that right there. That actually looks pretty good, right? And then we need these three. Okay, so we've got our mixing bowl and our rolling pin and our measuring cups. And we'll see, we might have to cut these if things don't line up, if they keep moving. Hopefully, I think, um, I'm trying to remember what Stampin' Up! was saying. We have a new uh, magnetic cutting plate. Um, I think it was kind of an issue of whether it was actually gonna be available with our, you know, the launch of the next annual catalog or if it's not gonna be quite ready. That doesn't wanna stay in place, so we're gonna, do this, and I think that'll help us. Okay, let's scoot these. So we've got that one. <laughs> now this one's gonna be futzy. Come on, little buddy. There we go. But you can see, you can make it work, right, ladies? Sometimes it just takes a little bit, but you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna just cut this one. There we go, and then we can play around with him because he seems to be the one that wants to be the not cooperative kid in the family, right? There's always one. <laughs> okay, come on, buddy. There, I think that's good. All right, there we go. Boy, this, um, <laughs> this, this plate, it might just break right in the middle of our Facebook Live. You never know, it keeps flipping. Well, we made it through. Okay, good, and that actually cut better. It kind of moved and I thought, oh my gosh, seriously, is it not gonna stay where I need it to stay? But I think we're all right. Okay, I'll show you all those once we start putting it together. And then one more there. Okay, let's just scoot this guy out of the way. Okay, you guys ready to put this one together now too? So, let me grab that again also. We're gonna need some of those things, right? Okay, so we're going to add adhesive to our basic white piece and put this on the inside of our card. Okay, there we go. So cute, I love these colors together. And then here is our designer series paper. Same idea, we're gonna just add this right onto our layer of basic gray cardstock. And again, everything will be posted on my blog this afternoon. So if you didn't catch something that I said, you can always rewind the video later or go to my blog at gatheringinspiration.com, okay? All right, we're gonna add some adhesive on this circle. Sending you a dash of kindness and a spoonful of love. And then this plain, white circle is just gonna go right on our Knight of Navy scallop circle. And then we're gonna put dimensionals behind our little guy there. Actually, let's add him too, right? Okay, so we're gonna put this guy right about there, right? Next, we are going to add our little mixing bowl. I'm gonna add some adhesive. I think I actually kinda did it on these right here, didn't I? All right, we're gonna put that right there. And if you rub kinda gently, if you've got any extra adhesive, that'll kinda rub right off. Next, we are going to, I think I used some mini dimensionals on these. If we put, if we put them like down there, cause I kinda overlapped things. 
So let's see if that will work, right? If we put like the little rolling pin right there and then maybe just one on this side here. Let's see if that'll, and maybe a little bit of adhesive right there, okay? And then that can go right about there, okay? Now, of course, I loved this. The Knight of Navy Twine worked perfectly, so I used it again. This time I did a single bow, so we're just gonna grab our, this is again the Fan Baker's Twine. I'm gonna make a little bow there, okay? Gonna grab our mini glue dots again and add that right, oops, right there. Okay, so we got our little dot and then, you know, I had to add my little sparkles. So this time I used, I'm just gonna use my fingernails. Sometimes it's easier if you have like little, little baby fingernails, you just kinda, you gotta just dig underneath there, right? So you get the, um, the glue dot underneath. And as long as you do that, you are all set. But sometimes it sticks to your fingernail too. <laughs> all right, I think we have made crafter math, serious crafter math here, but another fun project, right? Again, featuring that What's Cooking stamp set and the cooking dies that cut all of these little babies out, right? So, okay, quick recap, because today is different with the spring break special, I'm calling it. Okay, so make sure to use this host code, the MQPTVPRB. You have to order at least $50 this week though to get both of these project as a thank you from me. You also are gonna get a sampler of six by six designer series paper. You also are going to receive the Waves Rhinestone Basic Jewels that I use on these projects. You are also going to receive the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial and a celebration choice. So, so much good stuff, right? Cards, DSP, rhinestones, PDF tutorial, celebration choice. Once you put your order in, email me and let me know what celebration choice you'd like because they're basically on a first come, first serve basis. So whoever puts their order in first and says they want something, you get that first choice. If I don't have it available, I'll let you know and we move on down the line until we find something that I do have. So thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope you all have a great end of March. Um, yeah, so I'm trying to think of what else is going on. I feel like there's, well, order from the retiring list too while you can, right? And you get all this great stuff during the spring break special. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great, um, like I said, end of March, beginning of April, and we'll see you back here two weeks from today on our next Facebook Live. All right, bye everybody. Thank you.